Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be running through a quick example on how to find design member capacity. In this example, our effective lengths will be already given to us. Uh, however, that might not always be the case, depending on the question. We're actually going to look onto effective lengths in a bit more detail in the next couple of videos, but for the sake of this example, they'll be given to us already, and we'll be using that to solve for our design member capacity. Now in our example, we're given a grade 300 150 UB 14 and the effective lengths are given to be 4 meters in the x direction and 2.5 meters in the y direction. And so we want to find the member capacity and see if it will actually support a load of 150 kilonewtons in compression. Now moving on to actually solving for the question, remember that our member capacity in design is the minimum of the capacity in the x and y direction because our buckle can occur uh, in both directions. And we want to find the, one, the capacity that is most critical or the lowest. Uh, okay, so onto our member capacity, remember that it's proportional to our section capacity by a factor of alpha C, which accounts for flexural buckling through slenderness and imperfections. And our section capacity itself is equal to KF AGFY uh, when it's nominal. So actually, we can actually go ahead and solve that first. All right, so first we need a couple of variables, KF AGFY in particular. We can actually find all of them straight away from the one steel tables. AG is 1780, FY is uh, 320, and KF is 1. I know previously we've had to manually solve for KF, but 